Hello, this is Claire Ryan, coordinator of the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and the Woody Invasives of the Great Lakes Collaborative. The Wiggle Collaborative is funded by the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative via a U.S. EPA assistance agreement to the Morton Arboretum. To find out more, please visit our website, woodyinvasives.org. We hope that you enjoy this video on how to tell the invasive shrubs common buckthorn and glossy buckthorn apart. If you do, please give us a like and follow our channel. So one of my favorite things to take advantage of is when you have uh, plants that are an ID challenge growing right next to each other. And what we have here is on the left side, we have glossy buckthorn, uh, frangula alnus, and on the right, right here, we have common buckthorn, uh, Ramnus cathartica. Now these are both invasive plants. Uh, if you have them, you'll want to control them, but it's always helpful to know what you're dealing with. Um, this one, as you see, the leaves on here, they're not opposite. You might call this sub-opposite, depending on how it looks down the plant. These seem pretty actually strongly alternate uh, on this particular individual. You'll see the leaves are a little bit shiny or waxy, um, especially like these emerging leaves right here on this, this part are very, very glossy and shining. And they do not have any uh, teeth on the leaf margins. And the leaves are kind of, or the veins of the leaves are kind of feathery. So that's your glossy buckthorn. Now over here with the common buckthorn, let's see the arrangement on here is more sub-opposite. Like these two here practically look opposite, but they aren't. The leaf margins are toothed. And the veins much closely, more closely follow the leaf edges, a little bit more similar to a dogwood. So that's how, just from the leaves, you're going to be able to tell glossy and common buckthorn apart. 